today we're going to make cornmeal porridge I'm going to use this cup to indicate a cup as in proportion so this is cornmeal um, look for fine refined cornmeal so that's a cup so you put a cup in it like that so that's step one for the next step you're gonna use one cup of regular tap water cold water this is a cup so you're gonna use one cup and a half one cup and a half then you're gonna put the cornmeal and the cup and a half cold water together and let it sit for about six to eight minutes next you're gonna put one cup and a half of water to boil that's one cup and then and this is a half a cup then you put that to boil for about three minutes by itself so now it's the water is boiling for about three minutes and this is the cornmeal that I soaked for about six minutes so what we're gonna do now is add it to the boiling water such as at this point you add a baby salt like a pinch of salt like that and then you turn down the stove on very low just gauge it very very low because you're gonna let this stay in on for about 20 minutes or about 15 minutes before you add milk but we're gonna add coconut milk what I'm doing now this is just a little bit that left in so I'm just putting a half a cup of water in it half a cup more just to get out it. See how thick it's getting? It's gonna get real thick. And from, and from time to time, we might have to add water again. Okay, it's been about five minutes, and this is what it looks like. So it's getting thick. Remember, you should turn it down very low, lower than the gauge that comes with your stove. Go down so low that you can see, but watch it so it don't out should be really low anyway see see how thick it's getting we're gonna add the milk later okay okay it's been 10 minutes so you see how thick it's getting I never mentioned this earlier but don't don't ever cover the pot the pot must never be covered see see how thick it's getting we're gonna let it stay for a little while before we add the cream yes next step to make the cream we're gonna add about a quarter cup of sugar or half cup depending on how sweet you like it then a tablespoon of cinnamon then a tablespoon of vanilla a tablespoon of vanilla about the tablespoon and nutmeg about a tablespoon then coconut milk you can use any kind of coconut condensed milk evaporated cow's milk any kind and then you just stir this up. All right, it's been 20 minutes. You see how thick it is? All by itself. We're gonna add a cream. We're gonna add a cream now. So now we're gonna add Cinnamon give it that color. This will all break down. 
because I love cinnamon. The points of making a cornmeal breakdown because cornmeal is a very thick thing, so you gotta you gotta make sure that it's broken down. So now we're gonna let this stay for about ten more minutes, and that's it. Okay, it's been about forty-five minutes and low heat. I try it off a little thing a bit. Depending on if your if your cream is watery, you know, just keep it low still. But this is what it looks like. This is what it should start look like. See, I'm using coconut milk, so it's not gonna be thick, thick. But if you use red ugly milk, it should be more creamier. And then you stir it occasionally. This is how it should look. Look at that. You should smell it. And when it starts splashing up on you and the little bubbles start hitting you, it's ready. So it's ready. So now we're gonna serve it. You can add any fruits to this now, banana, anything. Bon appétit